Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll see how do we write files in Node.js and make it available for the user to download. So for that, we require file system and I have already installed that in my uh, Node project and uh, see this, basically this npm install fs, this you have to do and then you have to import that package like that, const fs equals to require fs, right? So this is my method const write files and let's suppose okay so i wanted to have a text file of the user having some particular id so i'll take this id into params let data await user dot find by id yeah and then if there is no data then we'll get a message that id does not exist else else we can have a file name so let's suppose some temporary name file okay so this function math dot floor can be used to generate various random names in this way you can generate and here you have to specify the extension so in my case it is a json file so it will be a json you can have any num any extension any number of extension it can be a text file it can be a configuration file it can be anything now after that we'll use fs dot write files this and then temporary name then the name of the file so what I wanted to write I can take it inside a variable so let file equals to backticks and we can have user details and inside that we can have username as data dot username user address so these things are hard coded i'm just fetching the value of the username having user address address and user phone so this will fetch the value from the particular id and return me a file in the form of response yeah it is done so this will be my um, name of the file so by this name by some temporary name i want my file to be returned in response and that will be a function having two parameters error and data right and if we have any error it will say a message saying error 
downloading file otherwise what we can do rest or download temporary name function inside that we can pass success as a parameter and we can just console it as success yeah since we have already sent response so we can just console it yeah now go to routes router dot get it will be a get method so writing or maybe we can give it write file and then id user controller dot okay you have to export this api here at the bottom write files yeah save it save it and go to routes and use that method here okay fine now let's check whether we have anything in that database or not okay we have so many datas we can just take this id and open a new tab writing files i hope this was the name okay it is write file then we have to pass the id okay so the error is basically because of the id that we have passed so what we can do is we can just mention id should be id within curly braces and now if you go to postman and hit that send button okay so this is the response you got the username was demo for the particular id user address was this and the user phone number was this so in this way you can send your file in response and make it available for the front end people to help the user download it so it could be any extension for now i'm using the json extension but you can have a text file you can have a html file you can have a python script any any kind of extension works so i hope this was helpful and it would be um, very nice if you like share and subscribe to my channel do comment if you have any query thank you thanks for watching